Good evening and salutations, my Days of Our Lives fans. I was about to say GH. So, this, you know, seeing all these people come back, you know, out of the dirt and everything like that, I just get Thriller vibes with Michael Jackson. Um, start with Nicole and uh, Demos. It, it took me a little bit. And yes, I want to thank you um, for correcting me. It was David um, Hayward. When I said David Vickers, I'm sitting there thinking about the guy from One Like Love. But yeah, so he comes back and, you know, they go through this whole memory lane. I don't know if, is he supposed to be, um, Holly's father? Anyway, the guy practically talks about how he died. And, you know, they, watching this whole scene, this is the definition of what arrogance go wrong. Okay. You know, he sees Nicole that has a knife and, you know, he grabs it. And, you know, he starts, like, playing around and toying with it or whatever. I was like, bro, what are you doing? Just take the knife away from her. But no, you gotta sit there and screw around. And then he gets stabbed. Um, and now he's all upset because she didn't pay for her crime. And I'm like, bro, you, you really did sound like a piece of work. Um, but, again, they're going through this whole memory lane. And, um, Nicole managed to get some scissors and stab him in the chest. And then she goes and checks the body, and I'm like, this dude just came from the ground. Were you checking for a pulse or something? This guy's practically, a, has she never seen a zombie movie before? So she, she literally, like, checks the pulse, and she checks the heartbeat, and like, and I guess she's like, alright, I'm clear. So she calls Rafe. Rafe gets down there. First of all, Rafe was like, yo, listen, this this isn't time for it. This better be important. When he gets down there, and I'm not going to lie, when when she was on the phone and she was like looking a little bit and then she turned her back, I'm like, sweetheart, you can, you can dial it, you can, you can make a call and look at the dead body and make sure it doesn't just, you know, and the guy, how many times has he, he risen from the dead? So... Yeah, um, when he gets in the office, he knows that the scissors are on the floor, but there's no body. So, I'm like, w w what happened, Nicole? You thought you killed him? You, you thought you killed the guy who literally came from the ground, from the dead. That, that makes sense to you. Okay, um, now let's talk about Nick McFarlane, because this guy... Listen, I think at this point, everyone knows how I feel about Gabby, but Gabby did the world a favor. Really did the world a favor. He said a homophobic comment, and I was like, ah, uh, you know what, I, I, listen, I was with you torturing Gabby for like a little bit, because I don't like her, but then, then you just ruined it, and you said that, so. And yes, um, he was the guy that, stand, that did a stand-in for Spinelli, a really bad job, um, on Jake's, I think that one episode. Anyway, he talks about how he has Jake. Um, he grabbed him, you know, on his way to transport. And, you know, at first, you know, Gabby was like, all right, you're going to kill me. This, again, this guy is a piece of garbage. Not only did he say a comment that uh, rubbed me the wrong way, but he attempted to do something to Gabby that, um, Um, yeah, he did something to Gabby that was like, yo, this dude deserves to be down there. And the fact that Gabby and, I guess, her girl pals had to sit there and end this guy twice, I'm like, bro, <laughs> you should be gone. I, I mean, it makes sense that you're down there. Um, but yeah, she, he's all like, oh, well, you know, he starts dangling around Jake. And then he tells her that, um... Jake is in one of, you know, is in his coffin. So she runs to the cemetery. She starts, like, digging up dirt and everything like that. And, I mean, because, you know, 
what what Nick wants is Nick doesn't want a, a, a quick kill. He wants her to suffer for what she did to him. Which again, what she did to him was an act of kindness to the world because that guy needed to go. And Julie, oh my. When Julie's not there talking to Kate, you know, Julie's all like, you know, getting angry that Kate and um, a couple other people wound up killing, I guess, her cousin. But I'm like, I mean, does she know what Nick tried to do to um, Gabby? And for her to sit there and say, oh, well, you know, he was a troubled kid and, you know, he dealt with a lot when he was in prison. I was like, I don't give a damn. Okay, there's certain, like, listen, that doesn't give him an excuse to just do the things that he did. Okay? And the fact that she knows that, the fact that she, I feel like she knows what Nick tried to do to Gabby and she's still sitting there defending that. <laughs> This is one of those times where it's like, I just really want to curse. Um, because certain things definitely make me angry, regardless if it's Gabby or whoever else. Um, so the fact that she's sitting there trying to defend him, I was like, sweetheart, are you kidding me? Like, really? Damn it, Julie. I you know, with you, I just don't know. But now I find out that you're defending him. and uh, So, yeah, Kate and, and Julia is not there talking about uh, Nick. And also, I don't know if it was Nick that Kate brought up. I think it was Nick or somebody else um, saying that a bunch of trick-or-treaters saw what they believed to be either Nick or Deimos. I don't remember who. Well, you know, Julie's like, oh, well, that's, it was Nick. Julie, I'm like 90% sure it was Nick. But Julie's like, oh, well, you know, he's dead and that can't be. I saw his lifeless body and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, Julie, cry me a river. Um, but, you know, Kate's like, well, yeah, I get it. But, you know, the guy did survive twice. So, um, who knows? Now, another piece of garbage that um, definitely belongs underground is uh, Charlie. Charlie comes in and he's all angry. Um, he's all like, where's my son at? Blah, 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 blah. And you accuse me of this. And I was like, man, <laughs> I guess during that time down there, you didn't learn a damn thing, did you? You still sit there acting like you didn't do anything wrong. So you sit there trying to get information from Allie. And Allie's like, I'm not... I'm not telling you anything. What are you talking about? So, for some odd reason, she tried to antagonize him. Throw him off or whatever. And I'm sitting there thinking, all you're doing is antagonize this guy. And he can wind up killing you. Did, did you forget that? <laughs> but, um, you know, you got Ava sitting there trying to convince Tripp that Charlie's alive. And Tripp was like, you know, I'm about the science, about the doctoring. You know, I, I just, I don't believe in that stuff. So, they want to go back to the house because um, Ava was not the same. You know, Ava was not there trying to cover up like, oh, well, uh, Charlie killed Carm, some guy. And, and, and yeah, and he tried to kill me too and I ran out. And then she almost slipped up and said it twice. I was like... Anyway, they get back to the house and Eli's there. Now, Eli was sitting there talking to Rafe about the possibility that Ava could have something to do with the whole, you know, killing Carmine. So, you know, um, when Ava gets there, you know, Eli's like, hey, listen, I'm going to take you down to the station and, um, you know, question you. Now, Ava's like, listen, you need to sit there and try to find Allie because Charlie's going to sit there and go after her. Also, you know, Henry is actually at the pub, I guess, with Roman or somebody. He's somewhere. He's not there. Um, but Tripp is like, you know what, whatever, fine. I'm going I'm to sit there and prove you wrong. Tripp gets, well, Tripp gets to Allie's place and he knocks on the door, but he knows that the door is open. So he rushes in there and then that's when he sees um, Charlie 
holding Ali. And I'm sitting there thinking, you know, that whole time, and, and granted, you know, he's about the science, he doesn't believe in people coming back from the dead, he doesn't even believe in ghosts, or I don't even really know if he's, you know, believing in religion or spirits or spiritual or anything like that. But <laughs> he saw Charlie looking all zombified and everything like that. He knew that his mother was right. Now, if Charlie somehow gets away, you're going to have two people that's going to sit there and cooperate that, um, you know, Charlie's alive. And, you know, it was kind of interesting when, you know, Julie was like, oh, I don't believe that he's alive and stuff like that. And I was like, um, Julie, you lived in, in, in Salem for a while, right? Then, like, three people just come back from the dead. I'm pretty sure one of them was Jack. The other one was Abe. And I'm pretty sure it was Tony. But yet you don't sit there and believe that your cousin can sit there and come back from the dead? Really? And I'm pretty sure there was more people that came back from the dead. But my point is... She's being so like, oh, I don't believe it, and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, really? You've been in this town longer than, well, pretty much most of them in this town. And you've seen people come back from the dead. Really? Re really, Julie? Okay. I'm not going to lie. I think that's pretty much about it for the most part. If I forgot anything... Um, please write it down in the comment section below. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe. See you in the next video. And also thank you for watching yesterday because yesterday was a day. Um, yesterday was a day. It's not a good day. It's not a good day at all. It was so much of a bad day that I didn't even want to, I wanted getting an hour worth of sleep. Because it was just that bad. Um... See, so yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching. I felt like I was a little off yesterday, too, because it was just a day. So thank you for watching, and um, be safe, everyone. I will see you in the next video.